So welcome back to the channel. In this video we'll be doing the second part of the machinery tour. So the first part of the machinery tour is from filmed probably a year and a half ago. So now I'm going to do the second part. In this, this part we're going to look at the implements. I think we, we looked at this trailer last time, it was in the back of the New Holland, but this is our 20 foot Donnelly Sidex trailer. And it's got air brakes, it's on I think 560 BKT tires. Uh, I think we got we got this trailer maybe six or seven years ago. Served as well, so say about two years ago we took out the mesh, but then sold sold front and a sold back door, so we don't lose because we chopped a uh, six to eight mil, so we we won't lose as much silage in the road now when it's sold sold faces and the trailers and the doors. And then beside it we've got our GH Engineering 20 foot silage trailer. And that's also Donnelly's 20 foot. So this, these trailers are roughly the same, only a different shade of blue. No air brakes. So this one, I see the springs there. Spindles in the front. Springs. Pretty the same, same tires in this trailer too, you can see. It's got the little, in here it's got the marker lights. If you hit anything, they, they don't break. Age. Moving marker lights. And just one hydraulic pipe for tipping. Double ram trailers. Really about it. And then this has got, you can see it's got the solid side as well. And then beside that, we've got our triple axle cane trailer. It's on again 560 BKT wheels. And we got this trailer new last year in 2019, had it before the first cut. See, this trailer's got hydraulic tail door. You can see the ram up there. In the, Right tightly parked down to the back. And then we've got green chute there. Let's see if I open it up. That's the inside of her. Just closed. And I've got hitch in the back, got LED tail lights and indicators. We've got a flashing beacon up there. And so you don't see many of these three axle trailers. I think she's, she's about 26. 26 or 27 foot long. She's about six foot longer than the other ones, which you can see they're they're not actually parked back to back there. There's a bit of a gap. There's about a meter and a half gap, a meter, meter and a bit there to the back wall, so it's not that much bigger. Yeah, and this trailer that's on the 560 BKT wheels, the six of them, and it's got the adjustable marker lights. Then air and oil, air and oil brakes. And then she's only, it's only one ram. Only one ram. This trailer, one single ram. You've got your standard brakes there tied up because you don't use it. Then you've a lot more spools in this trailer. You've got two for the main ram, and you've got two. Actually, you've one for the, actually you've one for the one for the ram, one for the steering axle. One for the steering axle, and one for the rear door. And see, so this tractor, this trailer, even trailer. Trailer. This trailer's got passive steer, so you can turn it on and off in the spool. See, active steer, you've got the it comes up the drawbar, and you'll see it usually about there. That's the trailer; it steers itself. So you don't want you turn this trailer off in your reversion because the wheels go the opposite way, and she doesn't really reverse for you. So then over here we've got our 4,000 gallon Red Rock tanker. So we got this tanker new in December 2017. So we'll have it three years this December. So it's got a six inch self alarm. Again, it's all it's hydraulically driven, this tanker. You got the bank hydraulics up here. It's got a PT1 at the minute, but you can, all the functions work off hydraulics. And uh, what else? We've got a overhead boom, which you don't use that often. And then we've got a six inch full point on this side. And then we're on 710 BKT tires. So we don't have the overhead boom pipe connected up. And then we have we don't have a full point in the back of this tank. Well, there's one there. Well, it's not really. It's a different style of full point. We've got the pipe rack in the side. We've got a rain gun. Then we've got another six inch full point on this side. I think that's an eight inch full point there. Then I've got the DCI arm on this side. Now the stone trap. Down in there, and there's the stone trap for the DC arm to collect the stones so it doesn't damage it. So, and then over here, I've got the old loader for the lot where I used to have a lorry. I think she was uh, she wasn't the top line, she was a high line cab. She was a, 
She was a three an R380. We sold her two years ago. We're thinking of converting this trailer for pulling the, the case digger. We haven't done that yet. Just a pile of cubicle mats on it. And then up here we've got the buck rake. I think it's a 12 foot, maybe a 10, 10 or 12 foot OC buck rake. We got it, I think, was it two or, two or three years ago? It's a good buck rake. That's all we need to do. So, over the shed, machinery shed, and here we've got our Lely Lotus it's a tether. Meter tether, seven rotor, it's a wide angle PTO shaft, and it's folding, folds up and stuff. Both sides, or both wings sit in the body. So, I do most of the tether, and I'll be using this probably in a month, month and a half now, in the first cut. And beside the tether, we've got the, the crone front mower, it's the, it's the BC320. 3.2 meter working width. We've got our covered over a bit of plastic. Still have the birds dunging on it. And then behind that, we've got the the other oh, the butterfly mowers thing. They're the the BC 870s, 8.7 meter working width. We use use these mowers on the 6215R, I uh, the 870 CV, and they've got Otis weathers. We used that last October. Uh, October we're doing the whole crop. And I've got the harvester beside that. I think we've seen that in part one. And see, you've got the fuel bowser on the back of the, the Toyota Hilux. I don't know how much this holds, I'm not sure how much this holds, but we've got, it's got its own pump which you power off the battery of the Jeep. It's a lot handier. We used to use, you can see, we used to use two drums. We car diesel to the digger, but that's a lot handier now. I've got the lawnmower. Then, didn't show this in last book, we, we uh, traded in the JCB last May, we bought a Kramer. This is a Kramer KT557, it's a 5.5 ton lift and a 7 meter reach. It's been a good machine for us so far, I've had it, have it a year in May. No problems with her at all, we had a couple of problems with fuses at the start, that's all out of her now. Great, great machine. Hydrostatic, no, no it's not hydrostatic, it's a Vario transmission. I think it's a Dutzfar engine with 160, 170 horsepower. Uh, it's great to tele handle now, definitely. Definitely a lot better than the GCB you had before the 5417 Degree Pro. Definitely miles ahead of it. So let's say we'll go over, we'll go over and look at the Herp Stumper now. It's our 18 ton Herp Stump trailer. It's got hydraulic tail door, BKT tires. Let's see what are they? They are uh, 650 BKT tires, hydraulic door, double acting rams, air and oil brakes. So we got this dumper new in 2016. The paint hasn't really lasted on, as you can see, it's, it's chipping off in a lot of places, but this dumper's done a lot of work. A lot of carton, carton rough rock and stone and things. And we were making fields, expanding fields, removing ditches and things. This dumper's done a lot of work. That's in the front of the 6215R at the minute. And see over here we've got our 14 foot 3 axle for Williams trailer. We pull this behind the, the Mitsubishi L200. It's a good trailer. I've had it over a had it over a year now. Some scraps on it, things, and then behind that we've got our eight foot New York Story mixer. So we've had this mixer maybe three years now. It's a good mixer. We always had Red Rock, then we upgraded to the New Rock. So pretty well built machine. So we'll go over and look at the fertilizer sower. I think that's the last bit of machinery we're going to look at. So before we go look at the sower, we'll look at the, the NC road brush. So we use this to clean the yard. Use it in front of the creamer. That's snow now. It's powered using the front hydraulics and the telehandler. Just so it's a bristle brush, nearly like a wire brush with plastic. Plastic tine sort of. That spins at high speed. And it puts all the material back into the bucket behind. And then over here we've got the beat chopper. It's another thing powered by the front hydraulics and the telehandler. Use this to chop the beat into the digester. Big chopping cylinder in there. So then over here we've got the we've got the fertilizer sower. It's an Amazon sower. It can hold three bags, so about 1.8 ton. I've had it for I think five or six years. Use it three times a year and do the, the fertilize the silage ground. So it's a good sower for us. We don't really need any bigger. So it's well we. 
this with the Green Star GPS guidance and our growth tractor so we can carry the data over. So as soon as you go into the field, you just open up the map of the field and it has all your AB lines set out. So we're just finished so maybe I think two weeks ago, two or three weeks ago. There's some there's the excess fertilizer behind us. So we're gonna be so for the next video we're gonna look at the a new tractor that we got in the farm. And then the next couple of videos after that will be on probably reseeding and things like that. Because reseeding and reseeding a lot of ground, putting in putting in some maize this year for a test. And we're also putting in some triticale and grass like we usually do. So next few videos should be on the maize and, and reseeding the land lab and plowing. Probably for plowing today we'll get the drone out and film the contract for the plowing and the seeding of the maize and so on. So I think after this video. Right, thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next one.